Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna do a part two of my final thoughts on some makeup products that I purchased two, three, four weeks ago at this point. I don't remember. But the point is, I have had quite a bit of time to play with them and kind of try them different ways with different products. And here are my final thoughts on them. I'm also gonna be applying the stuff that I'm talking about on my face, so let's get started. So in the last video, I talked about the Hydro Grip Primer. This video, I'm talking about the e.l.f. Putty Primer. And I think there's a matte version of this and I didn't know, but I don't hate this primer. This is actually, for me, my opinion only, I think this is better than the Tatcha one because it's not as emollient so i can only imagine what the matte one would feel like i think it just suits my skin type better that's the primer i just put it like where i normally get oily and where i have like pores i technically have pores all over my face but they're very deep over here next up we have the color pop pretty fresh foundation i always forget my shade medium 80w and i really like this shade it does kind of match my chest very well. That's what I like to match my foundation to. The pump on this thing, it, it pumps out so much product, so please be aware of that. I like to use half a pump, and sometimes even that can be too much for me since I don't do full coverage complexion anymore. So in the last video, I spoke about the Fenty No Filter, Filter, Soft, focus filter you know her foundation i compared it a little bit to this uh, color pop one and i said the color pop has more coverage in my opinion now when i said that i didn't mean like a drastic difference but it's noticeable enough for me but it's not a difference where i think you need both both foundations for the most part if you just use a little bit then it can come off like sheer medium based on like a normal application i would call it a medium coverage and you can build it up to about a medium full and i like them almost equally i think that the fenty one stays on my skin a lot better there's no there's not as much transfer and i noticed that when i use masks so i've worn both foundations out and i noticed that there's just a tiny bit more transfer with the ColourPop one but I mean really it's it's not that big a deal so I hope you can still see like it you can still see my pimples if you're into full coverage or covering up your acne then you might want to go with a concealer to spot treat things but honestly this for me I don't care I, I don't care if my acne or my age spots show through this is just like a really good base for me to work with but just something for you to notice if you can see my my spot it still does show through but that again is like a normal pump size so one pump of a normal foundation so i'm gonna do my concealer contour powder and then bronzer powder off camera just so that i can like get to the other products i don't have to do that since none of the products i'm going to be using are new so let me just zip through it we'll get to some other stuff Okay, so I got most of the base done. I used the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Almond. Then I used the Fenty Match Sticks in Mocha and Trippin to do the cream contour and cream highlight. And then I set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I also used the MAC Sculpting Powder in Shadester. And finally, I did my brows with the ABH Deep Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Now we can move on. So I'm gonna do my blush. Now this blush I've been talking about and using for a little while now, and this is Becca's Songbird Mineral Blush. It's, it's stunning. If you like glowy um, blushes, then this would be one to possibly try out. I know that it comes with a pretty hefty price tag but if you have tan skin i think this is just such like a nice pretty wearable red if you just apply that and blend it in it's got that nice glow to the cheeks i basically just tap my brush in and then i get pigment like that insane and i just think it complements you know tan golden skin very well and for me th this is one of those shades where you can just 
put this on and not really have to worry about the eyes but it still looks put together i think it looks kind of heavy right now but i am going to kind of buff everything in right after so songbird been loving it been using it a lot and although i've gotten some new blushes i still find myself really reaching for this blush and that glow play from mac that i talked about in the last video they're just i'm so glad i picked up new blushes next up we have highlighter this is a powder highlighter from nars the most popular one from this line is fort de france but i got mine in ibiza and at first when i saw it i kind of felt like oh man i really should have picked up that lighter shade the fort de france one but after i put this on my skin it just it, the 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 shade the undertone kind of the base color really suits my complexion and so it it doesn't even really have like a base pigment on me it almost looks as if it's just like this this glow on my skin there's no underlying shade to it and it's not a very pigmented or like high shine um highlighter which i love it's just my preferred um, form of highlighter since I have really like textured skin just kind of hit those places I normally put highlighters on and I love it like I don't know if you can tell it just it looks just glowy glow so no regrets about this one so far this and the Fenty I'm, I'm just so happy with them if I had to pick I think this goes better with my complexion but I I find myself like I toss between them you know what I mean I haven't had enough time to really solidify my final thoughts because I love both but I would say this for a golden highlight and maybe that one for like a champagne one if you're on the market to purchase a new one so this is my powder yes blend isn't that so pretty oh yeah beautiful wow all right let's move on to eyes and i don't think i've ever reviewed these these are the charlotte tilbury eyes to remember mesmerize i have rose gold and i have a star gold star and rose rose is like a champagne pink and then the star gold is kind of like this bronzy medium bronze shade i think i want to put down let me just put down some bronzer in my crease and then i'll show you have how, how these apply and give you my thoughts on them i've had these a little longer than the others so i definitely have a formulated opinion about these products okay based on you know using them quite a few times i will say that um star gold is my preferred shade i don't know if it's because rose gold is kind of i think it's maybe too light for me i don't know i feel like rose gold it's not as pigmented so i'm going to start off start off with star gold that bronze shade and this is a very creamy formula if you know i'm comparing it to other brands that i've tried the consistency is a lot it's a lot creamier it's a wetter formula than i'm used to and the color payoff is good i'm not saying it's bad but i've you know i've tried other formulas where the product is stiffer like it's a lot more packed in not as um, liquidy and the pigment just comes off a little bit more than these do i love having cream shadows i know that you know a lot of people love palettes and you know having the option to pick from so many shades but if you find the right kind of cream shadow for your complexion it's it's such an easy go-to to just like pop on the lid and go you know what i mean now i'm going to take rose gold and try to pop that in the inner portion a little bit just using the same brush and the texture for both are really creamy if you prefer a jelly pudding type of um, consistency the charlotte tilbury is a lot better but um, if you prefer a stiffer formula um, i really have enjoyed the ones from chanel i'm waiting on my ColourPop ones i think i got one or two from the garden collection i think maybe this is formulated like it's a lot softer and creamier so that it does give a little bit more of like not just the 
the shimmer and like the metallic look but also just making it look wet and it's very i mean it's very apparent that that's a go-to look for charlotte tilbury considering all the different types of makeup looks i've seen her do kind of her traditional style so this is a very fitting for that i just i'm so used to having more pigment in a cream shadow that this is it's kind of it's got a little bit of a learning curve for me i don't hate it i don't regret it and that's a good thing but i also don't know if i would you know be purchasing anything else i still do want to try those jewel pots because they seem more of the cream shadows that i'm used to but i'm i'm, I'm still telling myself no now next up i just had to apply one because this is gonna take some time to get tacky but these are the kiss lashes i think they're the push-up type but this style is in teddy and i think i raved about it in my get ready with me my embarrassing stories let me know if you guys want another one of those i said how much i've been enjoying these since purchasing them i did i did i'm gonna admit it i bought three more pairs because they are stunning i love them i'm so happy i picked them up these might be my new favorite like dramatic pairs and I'm I'm finding myself now trying to figure out if I'm just going to continue to go between these and the Queen Bees from Coco Lashes or just stick to these. Look at that. You also realize how quick that was for me to pop on, right? The band is still thick, but it's more it's a much more comfortable band for me than the coco lashes one i also took out this pencil from essence i've used it a couple times since um getting it but i didn't purchase this product i actually got it for free i've always plan on purchasing a nude liner i used to have the white one from mac the eye coal and then i ended up getting rid of it because it's so stark since getting this i'm actually thoroughly impressed it does like kind of brighten up my eye without looking so stark on the bottom so i'm so happy i got it this was actually in my cart i took it out and then i think by the time i decided to actually purchase the products in my cart this was a free one since i got something from essence so and not spend the money on it oh and by the way this is the extreme lasting waterproof eye pencil in silky nude and there we go that is the eye look this was, it's so simple i mean cream shadows they're just the way to go and then these lashes they're so pretty and i love how like these are my favorite styles anything that gives like that lift on the outer corner that cat eye feel I just absolutely love it and I think that these just suit and fit my eye shape very well. So let me do the other eye and then we will come back to finish off the lips. Okay guys, so we're going to finish off with the lips since I've done the eye look. This is what it looks like. Stunning. I love it. These types of looks have become my go-to and kind of where I'm, I'm sort of finding myself trying to lean towards. I still play with a lot of makeup but something like this there's it, it just drives me crazy because i love it so for my lips i'm actually just gonna apply a regular lipstick this is the patrick star and matte collaboration in mama star tap that out i don't want too much pigment it's like a good everyday shade for me and then i'm gonna use the color pop Dew Drops Lip Oil and uh, this is part of their Lux line. I love this. If this is what all lip oils feel like, then I might, I'm gonna have a problem. This would be my perfect lip gloss. I know it's very lightweight, but that's honestly what I look for. Like, mm, this texture is everything to me and this is affordable so even though i would want to try maybe another brand or two i have something that i can always go back to and i've mentioned it before but if it's your first time tuning in i like lip glosses that are sheer i'm the type of person that i would much rather keep this in my purse and have to reapply it than use something really sticky 
and maybe have to reapply once throughout the day. The feeling of a lip gloss is far more important to me than its lasting power, but that's just a personal preference. So if that's the same for you, then try the lip oil. If it's not, then just stay away. And here we have the final look using quite a bit of new makeup and those are my final thoughts on those products thank you guys so much for joining me in this video i really do hope that you enjoyed it and found it you know helpful in any which way which way any which way I will be listing all the makeup products that I use to put this makeup look together in the description box down below, but if you're interested in any of my other makeup looks, be sure to check me out on Instagram. It's the first link in the description box where I post a photo of all my makeup looks along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Drink some water before we begin. How much water do you guys drink a day? I I think this is 40 ounces and I drink four to five of it every day. That never was the case. As a child, I didn't drink water.